So most people are aware that smoking uh, is detrimental to their, uh, their general health, but very few are aware that it can also affect their oral health, their gums and their teeth. One of the main things that it causes is, uh, is tooth loss, gum disease, stained teeth, and if taken more seriously, um, it can even cause mouth cancer. So the products in cigarettes and tobacco, i.e. Uh, tar, can cause the teeth to start to, to look yellow uh, and even brown over time. There are products out in the market that can help you with that, uh, but it's worth bearing in mind that they don't change the inherent colour of the teeth, they just help to remove that extrinsic staining. Yes, I'm afraid it will. One of the things that it causes is, is constriction, vasoconstriction of uh, the small blood vessels in the gums. Simply put, this is bad because it stops nutrients being brought into, uh, into the tissues and the gums and it stops toxins from being taken out. So the healing capacity of the gums is slowed down and therefore the gums are more likely to develop gum disease. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a few different uh, whitening type toothpaste that can be used for smokers. It's worth being aware that these are quite abrasive products though, so you may wish to speak to your dental team about whether it's good to use them all the time. Most dental teams would, um, would recommend that you, um, you alternate the use of quite abrasive toothpaste with uh, just a normal fluoride toothpaste. As a smoker as well, you also want to be very, very aware that you keep up with your interdental cleaning, so the use of floss and interdental brushes as well as uh, brushing well with a toothbrush. You should visit your dentist for a regular dental checkup, and your dentist will tell you what the recall interval should be dependent on your risk. It is really important though, as a, a heavy smoker or drinker, that you, uh, you do go to the dentist regularly because the dentist will be looking for early signs of changes of the skin inside your mouth. Yes, I'm afraid they will. There's a few telltale signs that they'll be looking out for. So one of the things is that you see less bleeding uh, when you check the gums. You can also see a little bit more bacterial buildup on the tongue, so a little bit more debris. You also can see some telltale white patches around the mouth and the palate, the roof of the mouth, often looks slightly paler. The truth of the matter here is that at the moment we just don't know. There's not enough long-term research to really suggest the effect that vaping long-term has. What we do know is that it would be better than smoking traditional cigarettes or uh, chewing of tobacco, but it's not going to be as healthy for you as quitting altogether. If you think about what you're doing when you're vaping, essentially you're continually sucking in a load of vapour uh, which contains a mixture of different chemicals so we just don't know if that's safe for you or not.